Hi everybody, this is Germinal Van. As you see, the background is different. It's because I decided to um, to change my YouTube channel into a teaching platform. I'll be teaching, as you see, introduction to econometrics. So I want to teach you the basic understanding and approach to econometrics. And the reason why is because I want the layman, which means you and I, to understand what those experts do. What makes them so expert about something? Because it's important to understand that econometrics is used every day in our lives. Uh, businesses use it to, um, to forecast their sales and revenues. Uh, political scientists use it to determine the impact of the bill and to run polls and public opinions and etc. And economists use it to forecast economic events and to test hypotheses and stuff like that. So it is really important, and even for those who do not like econometrics, you do not have a choice, it's used every single day in our lives. So I think, in my opinion, it is better to know and understand how this works. You don't have to use it necessarily, but I think it's always good to have the knowledge for it, so that's why I decided to do it, so that each of us can do whatever we want to do it with it. So the first... Um, thing I'm going to talk about in this video is uh, the definition of econometrics. So econometrics is the measurement of economic theory. As you see, econo, econo stands for economic theory and metrics stands for measurement. And the way we measure economic theory is through the use of statistical techniques. And we're going to talk about these statistical techniques down here uh, later on in this video. So the reason why we use those statistical techniques is uh, techniques is to have a um, an accurate understanding of uh, of the the economic impact we are trying to analyze. That's why, because the statistical techniques help us getting closer to the to the truth. It doesn't lead us to the exact truth. It doesn't lead us to. Uh, to the exactness or the exactitude of the, the the thing, but it gets us closer to it. With that, we have a a good approximation of what to do or what to expect. That being said, it leads us to the second, which is the purpose of econometrics. It has two, three purposes. The first is to estimate e economic parameters. The second is to test hypotheses, and the third is to forecast economic events. So estimate parameters help us understand what variables uh, play into uh, the hypothesis that we're trying to analyze. What are the elements, or should I say the factors, the explanatory variables that are included in the whole system that lead us to that outcome? That's why we estimate parameters. Then we test hypotheses. Because to simply say that something is true based on logic, it's not enough. You have to prove that something is true. It's not because something is logical and seems obvious that it is necessarily true. That is even one of my big disagreements with Austrians who favor praxeology over empiricism. But this is another debate. So testing hypothesis is important. I even did that with, uh, I, I wrote a couple econometric papers where I test hypothesis to actually give an empirical content to uh, the statement I was trying to prove. So it gives you, it validates your statement. And unless your statement is validated, it's just an opinion. So it is important to understand that. And the, the third is to forecast economic events. So forecasting doesn't mean that it will exactly tell us when how things will will happen exactly but it it brings us closer it is basically an approximation of what to expect and how and based on what to expect how we can prevent or adjust so that's why forecasting is important so these are the three main uh elements of the econometrics why we use econometrics so the third one now is to talk about job prospect. What can you do with econometrics? You can do many things. You can be an economist, you can be a statistician, you can be an analyst, you can be uh, a researcher, you can do a lot of things with, a, with econometrics, with an econometric degree. Why? Because 
econometrics is a quantitative skill and quantitative skill leads to high demanded jobs the labor market wants people that have quantitative skills and they can apply that to their analytical reasoning and econometrics helps you do that that's why on job prospect if you decide to uh, to study econometrics that's a good decision because in terms of our job prospect you're pretty much set and now we're going to talk about econometric models so in econometrics the many models because econometrics is simply statistics that we use in economics but in econometrics the two main models that we use are the linear regression and the time series analysis and the linear regression we're going to talk about it about that in the next video we have the simple and the multiple linear regression so in the next video i'm even going to uh, to divide uh, my lectures into two main branches i'm going to talk about econometrics one which will focus more on the linear regression the tool that most econometricians use and then econometrics two which will be a little more advanced then there i will be talking about time series analysis so that's how i'll be dividing and it will be once a week a video of five to ten minutes just to talk about basic uh, econometric structure and elements but uh and how do we determine which econometric model to use everything depends on the data the data we use in econometrics are observational data or historical data observational data is simply data that have been used before compared to experimental data where you run samples on people like they do in the medical industry or in uh, psychology or in many other fields but in uh, in econometrics we use historical data mainly so we will be also talking about that um, in the next video but that was just an introduction to what econometrics is what to do with it what kind of job you can get by studying econometrics and what are the models that we use in that field so i hope you find this video um, informative and uh, next week i will start with how to collect uh, data and then we will be talking about the simple linear regression until then have a good weekend